Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am coming on today to kind of give you all an update and tell you what I'm getting ready to do here. I have been preparing for my trip out of town with my mom and her friend and my daughter. And we're going to be gone for kind of half a day is going to be spent driving. So it's kind of like uh, we're going to be overnight a couple of nights and they're like a half a day, a whole day and half a day. So it's kind of like two days and two nights really. But anyway, I am going to try and utilize this time to get some crafting done. And um, we're actually going to a casino in uh, upper Michigan, but um, I'm hoping to stay away from the casino area and let my mom just play with her friend and me be able to be in the room with my daughter and be crafting and, and uh, you know, we'll do some exploring and stuff, but it's supposed to rain for like the next seven days. So um, it'll be a good time to be inside and just be crafting away. So what I decided to do, because we're limited on space, I decided to uh, make ephemera instead of trying to take like a particular project to work on. And, you know, it's hard to try to figure out what you're going to need and what you don't need. So what I did is I put together some piece of pieces of ephemera that I want to make. Like I watched um, some of uh, Gail's uh, tutorials and some other ones and just you know, got some ideas of, of some things that I want to make, you know, like some different tags. And I want to work on the envelopes. So I have a bunch of envelopes to repurpose. Um, here's just some more of uh, those same pocket type things. I want to make some book page um, bases of different things. Uh, this is something I got from someone else that I kind of just threw in there for an idea. I got some tags from Mixed Media Minnesota that I could make some like those uh, pocket kind of thing. And then this is something that I got from someone. So I just kind of threw all this stuff in here and figured I could, you know, just use these ideas for inspiration. I really wanted to take my sewing machine, but, um, and this was another pack that I got from Mixed Media Minnesota of different book page ephemera so I put all those in this envelope so they'd all be together and then there's more uh, videos that I have in playlists of other types of ephemera that I can make too and I just thought that would be a good time to build up my stash of ready to decorate ephemera so I got that and then today uh, we had a tornado warning today but thankfully nothing came of that sorry about that glare uh so while that was going on like i went and got my son and brought him over here well by the time i got him back to my house the warning had gone back to a watch again so tornadoes aren't something we normally get here in michigan i mean there's been warnings and watches and that kind of stuff severe weather but to actually have a tornado touchdown that doesn't happen very often hmm Sorry, I had to get a drink. So I'm not going to know who all these digitals are, but I just wanted to show you, kind of like give you an idea. Like this is just, I did all this today. And these I um, printed on the, um, <clears throat> these are Tsunami Rose. I do know those. But I printed these on an Epson presentation paper. And I don't know, I had to size them down. They printed like this to begin with and I thought well that's all right because I'll just fold them and I'll just actually put them in the journal like that so I wasn't really too concerned that they came out like that but I would have put them on different paper had I known but anyway they're still going to get used and like these are shabby dabby doodah hers are marked um these are uh Tracy Fox um they're templates for different things <clears throat> but I had purchased all these digitals and I had been waiting uh, to print them out. These are also Tsunami Rose. So I figure I can get a lot of uh, fussy cutting in while I'm there as well. So these are just the floral pages that I printed. I separated them out by, um, by theme also because one pile was not going to fit. 
in one envelope. And then I, in here, I have butterflies. So these are Took's craft table. Look how nice those came out. I love those purple ones. <clears throat> these are Artie Mays. I like it when they have their name on there because then you know who they are. <clears throat> Excuse me. This was a freebie from Mary Small Art. These are Tooks. I think these are too. I think these are all part of it, but I could be wrong. But it looks like they're all right there together. I just love the vibrant color. Like, look at that one. Did those come out nice? And these are also Tooks. So lots of fun, lots of fussy cutting in my future. I can't try and talk too fast or I'm not going to be able to be understood. And then in this one, I have my uh like different uh sentiments these are mrs cogs and so i figured i could use these like on journal cards or um tags or whatever so i did bring some things that you know i could use to decorate some of them or partially decorate just you know whatever i could do to you know get them as far to finish as possible but I don't want to bring a lot of different things um, I accidentally printed on uh there was like a shiny piece in the paper pack I accidentally printed on that but it went through and printed so there you go <laughs> and like I said I printed all of these that I'm going to show you today like within I don't know two or three hours and my eco tank is still it's like about a quarter, only a quarter of the ink, not even a quarter, less than a quarter of the ink has been used. So this would have been already, um, I would have had to change the ink before I got about halfway through with my other printer. So I'm really um, appreciating the printer that I got. So these are some bunnies. And these are from Porch Swing Designs. As are these. Look at these. Aren't those cute? Some of these are kind of big. Now, I don't know if these are all the same person or not. I can only tell you who they are if they put their name on it. I thought those were cute too. So those are my bunnies. And then these, I all print, I, I all printed, I printed all of these on the full sheet of label paper. So when I cut around them to use them, it'll already have the um, adhesive on it. So there's all different kinds of um, words and definitions, labels. These are Tracy Box. Some of them I printed more than one because once I get there, if I don't have enough of something, I'm out of luck. Well, until I get home anyway. And I probably won't use all of these this weekend, but I'll have lots of choices. Whoops. Well, obviously, I put these in at different times. Oops. Helps if I get them out of the way. Now, these are Tsunami Rows. I recognize those. And there's some in black and white. Today has been, <clears throat> excuse me, today has been a crazy day with 
you know, the storms, and then I had a couple things I had to take care of on the phone. I had a mattress that was supposed to be delivered, said it was delivered, but it wasn't. My daughter's phone's about ready to die. You know, all those things that have to come up right when, you know, you're getting ready to go somewhere, because it isn't that the way of it. And I'm not really trying to do shop shares here. I'm just trying to show you guys what I did to get set up for the trip. The craft on the go. And then I had uh, background papers. That was the other thing that I printed. Yes, I did a lot of printing today. I went through, I went through two bo of the boxes, whatever, that the Epson... Uh, presentation papers come in. Yeah, I blew through two of those. I have to order more of them out now. These are actually, I think, pages, but I printed them for uh, like collage and background. These are eco papers. Now, I don't know if these are, um, I don't know if these are uh, Gales or somebody else's, but I know I have some that were Gales. And then some of these are just images that I've had on my computer for a while. This is a this is a kit from somebody, but I can't remember who. I printed like some pages, but not all of like journal kits. I know some of these are upside down, but you get the idea. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, just a lot of different uh, types of collage and uh, background papers to use for tags and uh, different things. And these are just flatter pages. Oops, not that one. There's a bunch of different colors of splatter pages. So I think I have quite a bit to work with when it comes to uh, creating backgrounds on tags and journal cards and pockets and all that kind of stuff and these aren't too bad you know they're flat and we'll go in the I'm taking like a one of those uh, bags on wheels kind of things and then I just gathered some napkins that are flowers and spring type gardening type things and I'm going to take those to use on uh, stuff too I got a bag of lace going here I'm going to add some to it. Man, I am really hoarse today. So I have a little bit of lace to take. <clears throat> but yeah, so that's kind of how I went about planning for the trip. And of course, I'm going to take my computer with me. And I haven't decided if I'm going to take any actual, um, like, uh, scrapbook paper with me or um any of my scraps and stuff or i'm just or if i'm just going to use the digitals i think probably for the short amount of time that i'm going to be gone i'll probably just take um just take the digitals i i should have enough with that and with the napkins too and the book pages i have a bunch of different book pages that i put in the bag as well so now i just have to finish packing everything up and we'll be on our way tomorrow morning. So I'm not going to take my camera. So I won't be able to film any craft with me. I mean, I could with my laptop. But I think that would be a little bit difficult. I'll have my other camera though. I might be able. Yeah, I probably won't. It will probably just be too hard to try to set up in an unfamiliar place to, to film. But when I get back, I'll show you guys everything that I was able to get done. So, um, some of you may or may not know, I did have a minor surgery, and I'm recovering nicely from that. Obviously, I'm well enough to go on this trip and drive, so uh, doing good with that. So, uh, just for those of you who might have known that that was going on, I'm doing good. So, yeah, so that's about it, you guys. I just wanted to pop on real quick and let you know what's going on and, and uh, 
where I'm at because I haven't done a video in a little minute. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a fabulous week coming up. Oh, today's Saturday. We're still in the weekend. I lose my days sometimes. But anyway, have a great night. I'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.